Reedy, thank you for joining us. A, a big game tonight against QPR. What are preparations like going into that one? Uh, yeah, no, they've been really good. Um, we, we, uh, we, everybody walked really hard leading into the game on Friday, and you know we got results, um, a decent performance at times. Um, so we decided to give the boys a couple of days off, which um, I don't do that often. <laughs> they kind of have to wear in them. So they had a couple of days off and then we've got them in there Monday, Tuesday. Um, we're going to work on a couple of different bits um, leading into the game and probably for the next month or so we've got tactically a few different bits that we're going to look at in terms of formation, in terms of um, a little bit in terms of style. Um, in possession, but out of possession, things still the same. We want to go after teams. We want to go and press. We want to play with a with a real high intensity. So I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, how it plays out, um, um, and I'm looking forward to working on it myself. So you know, I think these are the things for a coach that are that are quite exciting, you know, and and hopefully you excite the players about it and you sell it to them in the right way, and and they've really bought into it in the last couple of days. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it, how it gets implemented. But but it, it's it's a journey. Um, you know, and, and we kind of periodise in, in, in blocks with formations and with different things that we want to work on and, and it's the start of a new block for us now. So um, it's good to go into the new block um, with a win under our belt and, um, and the boys can hopefully go out and express themselves. I was going to say the last time out was the win at the city ground. You must have been pleased with the lads coming through that with the challenging conditions as well. Yeah, well, it was tough enough conditions. Um, you know, I think the, the, the lads who were on the far side of the pitch kept telling me how well they played <laughs> because I couldn't see them. Um, they kept telling me they didn't give away the ball once. I'm not too sure about that. But it was challenging conditions and they handled it really well. Um, um, you know, it, it was good to get the win because it's been tough enough for them. You know, I think we've spoken about it before. It's been a, a tough period. They've kept working really hard. Um, other than the Blackburn game, um, where we where we were very very young and it was and it, and it became a difficult night for us, we've been in pretty much every game that we've played. You know, the last two games we played Fulham and narrowly lost and deserved something out of the game. They're top of the league, and in the last game played Norwich, who were second in the league, and you know and beat them. Um, you know, so. I think that's that's where I feel we're at, at this at this kind of level, and I've said it to the to the lads when when we play to our maximum, um, we'll give anybody in the league a game, and I think we're capable of beating anybody, and we've shown that. Um, but when we come off it just a little bit and don't play to our capabilities, then we find it difficult. So, um, I think it's probably where we thought we'd be at. Um, the development we always say is the most important thing. But the next level up is the first team, and it's all about winning up there. So we have to try and get the balance, and I think that's where where we're at. We're the balance between, <clears throat> you know, developing and getting them ready, but also, you know, there has to be an eye on, you know, we we need to win games of football, and and they've been unlucky in some, um, some we've got what we deserved, um, so um, so so we keep plugging away with it. You mentioned it earlier about how you tweaked the schedule considering the busy run of fixtures that we've had. How have you found the lads have responded to that? Are you pleased with the work they're putting in? Yeah, I am. And, you know, we had two games last week. We had a game Monday and game Friday. Now, I really like the, the, the weeks where we've got a game Monday and, and a game Friday because I just feel when you've got a game week to week that it doesn't always accurately kind of represent what the championship is like. And, you know, we're preparing the players to go and play in what we are at the moment in the first team in the championship. So... You play Saturday, you play Tuesday, you play Saturday. So for me to have two games in a week, it, it, it more closely represents what the championship is like. So I really like them, them, them games. I don't like the lads going into games feeling 100% right because very rarely did a force team go in where everybody feels fresh and everybody, you know, you, you know, I know from experience, you have to get yourself up to go Saturday, Tuesday, and you know, you've got stiffness in your legs, and you know, you, you have to mentally get yourself right for it. So, so I really, really like them weeks where, um, where we've got two games because I think it, it gives us a better indication of where the players are at physically, um, in relation to what what's happening with the force team. QPR tonight, how is the squad looking? Have you got everybody available for selection or are you going to make a few changes maybe? Yeah, no, we've, we, we've got pretty much everybody who's available to us kind of here. We, we, we've actually been really, really good with injuries and you know we've got a great sports science department, we've got a great medical department and you know all the bits that we do. So um, touch wood, you know, that we don't kind of pick up any tonight, but we've actually been really good with injuries. You know, we've got... Um, Therese has left us to, to go out on loan, which, which we're absolutely delighted about. Really, really good loan, and I think it's needed um, for him to kind of, you know, gain more experience. He had a, a great period last, a great season last season with Plymouth, and he's been excellent for us this season. But it's the right thing for him to go out, um, and we could possibly get more go out on loan um, if the right loan opportunities um, do come up. Obviously, we've lost Jaden. Um, 
um, and Notts County have gained Jaden, which is which again is, is is great for us, and he's he's doing excellent over there. So when the right loans come up, we'll, you know we we will discuss them. Um, um, but at the moment, everybody who's available to us, um, who's um, who's at, who, who's with us at the moment in the group, is 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 going to is going to be involved. And finally, just to touch on the under 18s last night, through to the next round of the FA Youth Cup, you must be pleased to see that. I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, we went across. Um, you know, I, I get to the 18s games. Um, you know, I, I see most of them. Um, I think it's very, very important that I do see them. Um, you know, and uh, me and Warren have a, have a very close working relationship. You know, we, we speak about the players every day, and you know who's going to be coming up, who's going to be benching between the, between uh, both of the groups, which which invariably you do get. Um, and so to go across and see them progress was was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think in, t- in terms of the game, uh, first half they'll have been a little bit disappointed with the performance, you know. And then I think Warren asked them some questions, asked questions of them. Um, at half time and they went back out in second half I thought they were excellent the, the structure the play uh, in possession how they built I thought was really good and how when they got a goal up how they nullified the game game management um, was, was excellent so uh, really really pleased for them we see the work that goes in every single day um, and, and, it's, and it's really good for the club that we're, that we're able to progress Reedy thank you for joining us and good luck tonight pleasure thank you